next generation uh, central office, which is essentially a, uh, a continued version of the virtualization that we've seen uh, from the data center and the core networks and that virtualization moving towards uh, the edge of the network. And this edge really starts at the, uh, the central office. And um, what we're seeing uh, essentially is uh, a need in the central office to reinvent and uh, upgrade its, its architecture towards uh, more server-based, more flexible um, uh, architectures uh, to take advantage of server-based economics uh, so that uh, service providers can actually um, have uh, network functions uh, that are going to be more distributed towards the edge of the network. Um, but then also, uh, once having this network edge uh, central office uh, re-architected and re-established with very flexible, high compute, um, high storage, uh, flexible platforms, um, have really be future proof, um, not just to run the services that they need to run today and very near term, but also um, as 5G comes along to host a, a, a plethora of services um, uh, that 5G will offer, uh, whether it's uh, enhanced mobile broadband type services today, immersive experience, but, but then more importantly, starting with uh, ultra-reliable low latency communications, uh, out in the next uh, three to five years, we'll see a number of services that actually have been associated with the promise of 5G come through on these types of platforms. Service providers really want to avoid uh, vendor lock-in, and so they really want a, a broad ecosystem. They want open systems, um, and, and they want flexibility. Uh, and so uh, within the context of next uh, generation central office, having um, equipment uh, from a multitude of vendors uh, across uh, a broad ecosystem is, is uh, critical so that they're not tied into um, any one supplier to drive innovation, having the this aggregation of, of uh, software and hardware, and also the, the flexibility to, to attract services with uh, open APIs, um, it really just gives them the, the, uh, the advantage to, to bring in services uh, in a much, much faster way um, with equipment that's actually um, you know, extremely quickly to be uh, upgradable and, and um, have a, a very agile network.